Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and I'm back here with Nick, George, and Ivan. How are you guys doing today? Doing, doing well. well. Hey guys. How's it going, everybody? Excellent, excellent. If you're seeing this game for the first time, and you'd like to learn how to play, you can check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist, which will give you everything you need to get started. Link to it will be in the video description. In today's episode, we've got a bit of a special theme going on. You may have noticed that we're all playing Lorene, Safety Inspector, as our champion today. If you tuned in last week to our previous episode, you may remember that every champion got to do cool things in that game, except for Lorene. So in this week, we're going to be recording a special redemption video for Lorene, where all of us play in a four-way Lorene mirror match. Revenge! So Sweet revenge! Nice! Now, if you're thinking that all four of us are essentially playing the same deck today, think again, because each of us has crafted our own unique style of Lorene for today's game. Let's go around the table and introduce our decks, starting with George. Huh. As everyone saw last week, I was given a right trouncing, but I believe that I'm going to be victor of this game. For I have much more purple, and much more white, and my Lorene is the one that will reign supreme! Fantastic. Next up, we have Nick. All right. Well, uh, last week you made us let me gain a lot of points all at once. And this week I'm going to try to call that back, except with Lorena as my champion. So I'm playing a bit of a combo twist. All right, Ivan, you're up next. Yeah, so I too am going to be playing Lorene. But unlike you guys, I'm going to be using some stat boosting strategies. Now, I know Lorene decks are more commonly known to have health boosting stats and effects. But I'm going to be also adding some attacks and maybe some other added effects to edge, have an edge over you guys. Very, very cool. And finally, we have me playing a build which I like to call Lorene's Token Farm. So basically, what I'm trying to do is produce a bunch of tokens, increase their health to four, and then score a ton of points that way. All right, so with the introductions out of the way, our mulligans have been complete, and we're ready to start. Take it away, Ivan. All right. Well, to start off with, I'm going to be playing a dangerous path. Hopefully, nice. it won't be too dangerous for me. <laughs> and I'll take my free draw for turn. I'll be looking at the top card of my deck using the effect of dangerous path. I'll be putting this at the bottom of my deck. And from there, I think I will be playing an obstructive roadblock. Ah, but nothing to upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately. But it does, it does give me a, a stored gold for myself. I'll abandon Dangerous Path and draw a card. Phenomenal. You know what? I think I'll be playing myself a Wad Path. <laughs> selling my obstructed roadblock and actually be playing myself an Astro Donation as turn for my turn one. Yeah, and I, I'll end my turn just like that. Very cool first turn. All right, so my turn, gain gold. I will Kimoto. drop down this location. Nick's just sitting there looking like Seto Kaiba, just absolutely grimacing, wondering like, <laughs> what is this guy's deal with the hot first moves? <laughs> Um, all right, so I will play Black Moral Powder for my one gold. Uh, I will play and immediately abandon Familiar Road, draw a card, and I will pass like that. So my first move <laughs> is going to be Statue of the Beloved Queen Ooh. with Obnoxious Name Caller. Oh, that's scary to have it early. That's a two on arrival. Draw the card. I will also play my hidden patch, my hidden flower patch, and I pass my turn. Very nice, very nice. I'll gain my gold. Think about how scary it is to see an obnoxious name caller down early. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'll start with a walled path of my own and use the ability to the top one. Do I want it? Do I want it? Do I want it? It's a good card, but I think I'll bottom it. Take my free draw. And uh, with my gold, I will play my own Ask for Donations. Ah, oh, we're all asking for donations. That's a great next card, I'll gold. tell you what. <laughs> These yeah, are some I'm opening moves. These the are moves opening are moves. Mm -hmm, all right, mm -hmm. uh, but that's enough moves for me. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of your uh, board state, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be, you know, beggar chums over there asking for donations. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'll start my turn by using my Astro Donations to go up to 3 gold. I have some odd cards in my hand so far. Hmm. And it's not ideal, but I don't think I have any choice in the matter right here. I'll start off by playing Statue of the Great Conqueror. And accompanying Whoa. that with my Grindon for Ooh. 3. Very nice. And I think I'll be using the ability of Statue of the Great Conqueror to give 1 plus health to Grindon. And I'll pass turn like that. Cool. All right. My turn two. Grab my goal for turn. Draw my card. Okay. We've got a Grindon out already, eh? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and sell my Black Mora Powder now. Play... Safety regulations and my okay. own ask for donations because I was feeling left out. I wanted one too. And we'll pass like that. Go ahead, George. Okay. So I'm getting myself two gold. I use my free draw. I put a search counter on my flower patch. Pass turn. All right. So for my turn, we'll gain the gold, put our face counter on, uh, and gain one more gold from the, the campaign itself. Then I will take a free draw. I believe I'll play yet another path. Blue path. And we'll look at the top card. Pretty good card. Do I want it? Uh, I think I do. We'll leave it there. And then abandon a location to draw it. Uh, replay a blue um, location so that it's tax-free. Play another campaign. History education. I believe with two more gold, we will play royal treasure. And use the Yo. location statue ability to give him one health. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. All right, so royal, uh, since Royal Treasure gained some health, that unlocks synergy, which I'll gain two gold with, and then immediately spend to play my champion, Lorraine. Wonderful. Not a bad little turn. A little, little afraid of grinning and getting aggressive over there, but not much you can do. You gotta, you gotta play your strategy, so Absolutely. off we go to the races. Back to you. He's, he's just chilling, you know. Oh, is he? Okay, cool. He's just left in waste. Just chilling. I'll be taking my turn draw. Mm -hmm. Counter passes for Ask for Donations. I'll be using Ask for Donations to go up to four gold. Let's see. I have many options here. But... And a card ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. Let's see here. Very nice, George. I know what I know what to play. I just need to think on what to hit now. You've got a lot of options, and I feel bad for you, son. He's got okay. a lot of options, and unfortunately, I was told under strict practice that when one has a lot of options, they in fact have more problems. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wise words. But I think I'll start off my turn, or continuing my turn, by playing Barbarian Chieftain. Oh. So if you thought there was already a lot of pressure on board, there's even more oh, pressure on board. Oh, so good. Is that a 4-3? Is that two four threes on the... Uh... That is, that is indeed. I'm swinging. He is. He's 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 Rough. beefy, man. Um, now I need to think on where I want to put this plus one attack for the routine of Grindin. Uh, well, actually, I don't really have an option. It has another denizen, so I'll add I mean, it to my You can put it on Lorene if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Whoa, whoa, out there. Whoa, lock him right into the. I could give it to. I could give it to Royal Treasure. I may make him super buff. <laughs> Oh man, five three is tough. Yeah, so you know, I, I think my priority right now is getting rid of this royal treasure for sure. So mm -hmm. I'll run my barbarian chieftain into this treasurer. Mm -hmm. uh, he won't be taking damage due to tenacious. Right. And furthermore, I'll be attacking Grindon into this obnoxious name caller because yeah, I, I I have I more than is in. I'm sorry. I, I had to I do mean, it, eh? <laughs> I know you, it. you you could possibly target uh, Lorene, but I think I'm the biggest target on the field right now. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Can't really do anything else, so I'll pass my turn. Yes. All right. Awesome. Get my counters for my phases, or for my campaigns. Draw my card. All right. I'll use Ask for Donations to go up like that. Um, man, Ivan's roid raging over there, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll play that. Here's Hunter. And I'll play these two characters. Oh no! The Diligent Farmer and the Overprotective Mother. 
Uh, I Diligent will give farmer. truly uh, the hero. Statue of the Fierce Hunters buff to the Diligent Farmer. And then I will go ahead and use safety regulations to give plus zero plus one to both of these individuals. And I will pass like that. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, I will draw a card. I play Harmless Kitten. Ah. Because I'm paying for gold because I am paying tax because I do not have a white alignment out on the field currently. Can't be attacked. Yeah. Perfect for the current board state. Safe from the big red bullies over there. Yeah, he's too cute then, for even barbarian chieftains to attack. Yes. Yeah. So now I pass my turn over to Nick. All right. Starting my turn. Well, gain my gold and up my phase counters. A lot of phase counters to track here. Uh, we'll gain the gold <laughs> from donations. Uh, I don't have another path. I can't look. So we'll just take a free draw and a draw from history education. Mm-hmm. So there's some good so options. So much draw, so much ramp. That's what, that's what combos like to do, you know? I think I'm, I'm so afraid of red over there, so I don't want to just drop. You're ramping, dude. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll make you attack other people, and I'll play Learn by Observation for three. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll abandon a location to see if I can draw anything else. Let's abandon um, the walled path. Draw one. All right, that's actually pretty good. We'll play a hidden cave to take its place and put a storage counter on it. Oops. Ooh, very nice. For a future turn. So I think I know what this is attacking next when it has six power. Maybe. <laughs> we'll Thank we'll pass the turn. Thank you, Nick. I'll put a counter on my ass for donations mm -hmm. and I'll take my turn draw. Very nice, very nice. I'll be going up a gold by using ass for donations, going up to five gold. Mm-hmm. And then this is gone now? Yes. Okay. I'll definitely start by using a safeguard. Cool. For sure. For one gold. I bet you guys didn't expect this. My second Barbarian Chief. Oh, oh no. God. Dominating the board. Um, I'll be using Grindon's effect to uh, give this second barbarian chief no you know what i'll give this the first barbarian chief that i summoned a six with that i'll run it like this i really wanted to attack alvin but this is a very juicy counter right here so i'll run this barbarian chief into this location mm -hmm. and uh-huh do i want to attack uh alvin both of alvin's denizens i mean um I think you should just keep him on nothing, and then he can't get any points, right? <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Um, okay, definitely I'll run this Denison into the farmer. And after that, well, this Grindon's going on pretty low I'm health. Sure you're dropping your HP. <laughs> you know what? Uh, um, I think I'll... I'll end like that, because I'm going to be taking too much damage to my Grindon. I'll... End my turn and score three points for the Barbarian Chief that was already in play. And I'll end my turn like that. Oh, brutal. What a dominating turn. All right. Get my goal for turn. Put two phase counters. Uh, draw a card. We're in a bit of a pickle, guys. But you guys need that mass removal. Don't rush me. <laughs> We're gonna have to pitch in, dude, to deal with this board. I can I can do one thing, and then I'll have to rely on the rest of you to do more. So <laughs> I'm gonna play declare guilty. Whoa! And we'll, we'll literally all business. of these. Spanish. Literally all of these are really good options, but I know that a purple aligned deck has some things that can easily reduce a two health denizen, but not a lot of things that can easily. Re get rid of a three health denizen so I what i'm gonna do gonna get rid of yeah i'm gonna banish this one put it on the bottom of your deck sir and okay then that is literally all i can do in terms of removal so i'm just gonna try to slowly but surely advance my board by playing loreen i'll have safety regulations increase these two denizens thusly and then i'll use overprotective mother to increase um loreen's health and harmless kitten's health 
and this Lorene's health. Just oh. to do you guys some oh. favors, and maybe maybe you guys will will pay it back. Um, it's very kind of you. Yeah, because we're I'm very scared of this. I need I need some friends. I, I'm scared. Um, all right, so I I'm understand. gonna end my turn, and I'll score three points off the overprotective mother. I mean, nice. Nick, Nick, Nick is looking pretty scary too, though. What? How? In you what still way? got, you still got like, <laughs> ask for donations, history of education. You got what? that learn by observation. They haven't done anything yet. They surely won't in Nick, the future. Nick has no alignment to white. Nick is not a happy camper right now. Eh. I'm going to abandon that, and I'm going to draw a card. Hmm. All right. You still haven't taken your free draw. And I still haven't taken my free draw. And we're up to turn four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play... Ah, uh, nice. Refuse Defeat. It's a good one. Very nice. Going to draw again. Dishearten. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Yeah, I was expecting that one. On my on grid. grid yes. On your grid. Thank yeah, you, Yeah, it's a... Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so you're down to one gold. What can you do with one gold? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Pass. I hate to see it. My turn. You hate to All see right. it. Well, if you're hoping for some like interactive abilities from me, I'm a combo deck. I told you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Rats. Oh boy, yes. here comes the sweep. Uh, here comes the blue uh, wave. Nah, nah, nah. So yeah, my uh, all my campaigns go to a, a counter, and we'll take a free draw, get a gold um, from Asper donations, and then it's done. See you later. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you for your donations. Uh, yeah, put it in active zone. And then we'll take a draw. Oh, do I need? Yeah, we'll take a draw from history education. Yeah, all right. So we'll play it. Uh, we'll play a Watchtower Scout. Oh. Three gold. Nice. And play a Statue of the Good King. Very nice. So we're realigned. One more gold for a kind counselor. Oh, Oof. boy. I will have. Um, yeah, uh, inside is active since I had a draw from history education, and I will have other denizens become perceptive until my next turn. I'm going to have kind counselor use my last gold. So down we go to give another denizen plus zero plus two. That'll be the watchtower scout, and then I will use uh, learn by observations ability to give um, Loreen a copy of watchtower scouts insight. Uh, all right, we use the Statue of the Good King for an alignment, but I haven't used its arrival yet, so we'll give the Denizen Kind Counselor uh, one more health. Very nice. And we'll we'll wrap that up for the turn. That seems like a good amount of actions. No points, but uh, we're making our way there. Okay, I'm going to put a counter on my safeguard for turn. Go up to five gold. Take turn draw. I'll be playing my Aurora Treasure for two gold. I'll be putting my safeguard on rare treasure unlocking its um synergy i'll go up to gold yeah this is funky but um i'll be abandoning my statue of conqueror to draw a card i will play crackdown on crime Ooh. one two three and i will live in my lorene for two gold mm. too bad nothing's got four more health yeah unfortunately my hand was a little bit unoptimal Mm -hmm. Let me look at the threats right now. What can I take out? Well, I could take out this kind, this kind counselor. You actually cannot That's because fun. kind counselor is. Perceptive. You can try. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no targets and no good targets at least. Okay, I run my barbarian chief into this statue, this white statue, Down and I think, I think I'll pass turn like that. All right, now Nick is looking kind of scary. Get my counters. Get my gold. My draw. All right, so uh, I'll use my last use of ask for donations. That disappears now. Okay, what do we want to do here? This board state is looking very scary, uh, but I think I have a pretty decent play here. I'm gonna play Child of the Wild and produce myself a very beefy gray wolf, and then I'm gonna go ahead and play Welcome New Settlers to produce two. Settler tokens. All right. First things first, I'm going to use Overprotective Mother to increase the health of these three denizens by one. And then here's Dang. the question. What is the best way to use my 
safety regulations. I think safety regulations is going to have to go on these two denizens. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and that will complete this. All right. And then I will end my turn and Lorene's gonna see one denizen with four more health that didn't enter my active zone this turn. I'll go up to six, pass like that. Okay, phase tokens, the free draw. I play. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, that's and interesting. A nice and big I guess fatty. I also give it the ability that it doesn't get removed due to having zero health. And that is a very achoo. scary trained assassin. And that's that for this turn. All right, yep. not bad, George. Not bad. <laughs> one card. <laughs> one one very scary card. We'll see. Um, but I'm not dealing with any y'all cards. I'm just trying to play my own. <laughs> we'll start. We'll gain my gold. Put my face counters on and start with a free draw. Use my history education. The last draw. Bye bye to that. Should probably put these white align cards before I have no white alignment for a little <laughs> bit. So we'll start with overprotective mother. Nice. Two. And then another watchtower scout. Because you can I never have enough one. lookouts, right? They're just, they're watching out for me. Yeah, with all the barbarians and wolves and yeah, assassins. It's a scary world out there, assassins. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep a lookout. So, all right, so I'm going to use the Learn by Observation ability to give uh, Overprotective Mother's Routine ability to either Watchtower Scout or Lorene. Let's split it up. Let's make Watchtower Scout have the Routine ability, just so Lorene doesn't seem too tempting to remove. All right, so I will use Watchtower Scout's copy Overprotective Mother's ability, give Denizens plus zero plus one. So power. Find Counselor, Lorene herself, Watchtower Scout, Four. second. Uh, my last card was, I did draw one card from the final use of History Education, so uh, we will Insight, so my other Denizens become Perceptive again. Uh, that's all my gold for the turn. I didn't mark it down when I used it, but see what lives. And at the end of turn, I gain a bunch of points. Uh, six points for the highly tough Denizens that have been sticking around for a while. I believe we'll just, we'll just pass the turn. Oops. Off to you, Ivan. All right. Well, let's see what I can do here. Um, I'll put counters on my campaigns. I'll be taking my turn draw. I think I'll be giving my Barbarian Chieftain Steadfast from Safeguard. Very powerful combo, Tenacious and Steadfast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does that mean you need seven attack to take it down? Uh, you would need eight. Because 7 would oh, yeah, be reduced to yeah. 3, and then it would still be, yeah. I'll be unlocking Synergy for my Reger Royal Treasurer mm -hmm. um, to gain 2 gold. Um, I think I'll play an Exalted Knight. Cool. 5. Draw yourself 2 cards? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm playing Wild Path. I'll use the ability of Wild Path. I was pondering. I see your thinking caps are on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are indeed. We're in the plotting schemes. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it on the top. And I'll abandon Wild Path to draw a card. Cool. Uh, I think I should use this Crackdown on Crime. I need to target something good here. I think Overprotective Mother is a good target here. Okay. And then I'll target this Grey Wolf for, uh, for an attack. By my brain chieftain. Okay. No, I'll play Iron Watch Guard. Iron Watch and is vigilant. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. And I don't think I score any points. No, I don't. I'll pass turn. All right. Turn six, eh? Get my goal for turn. Draw a card. Man, this is kind of brutal. Um. All right. This doesn't feel good, but I think I have to abandon this to draw a card. All right, and then I'm going to have the Grey Wolf attacking to Nick's Statue of the Good King to knock him off white alignment. Nice. Uh, yes. That's Hopefully. Gone again. And then I'm going to go ahead and play and attach Farming Sickle onto this settler here. So this settler is now going to have farming. He's a farmer now. Yeah. True farmer. Found his new life in the fields. That's right. He was a settler, now he's a farming, uh, diligent farmer, basically. A diligent farmer. Yeah. All right, so then I'm going to use it right away. 
play the one toll collector who could. So, not that good this late into the game. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and end my turn with four gold unspent. Feels really bad, but I'm going to score six points, go up to 12, and lose all my gold. Which is pretty good. And pass over to you, George. It's my turn worst. now. So well, we're going to, you know, add counters and whatnot. Um, I'm thinking to myself I need to do some, some abandoning of my own. But before that, consider drawing a free card. <gasps> Always consider that. Yes. Play a card! Oh, oh my Familiar world! In print, choose an alignment type. My choice is obviously white. Good choice. I have... It was bound to happen sooner or later. Oh, uh, it's happening now. It's happening. It's happening now. Happening, guys. It's happening. Guess what? What? Guard dogs. Nice. Overprotective mother. I guess... <laughs> I guess I can give something else. This doesn't get removed due to having zero health on this phase two of refused defeat. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Probably this, I shouldn't wonder. It's, or Oh yeah, yeah overprotective Yeah, no no, you know, you're right, you're right, you're right. Overprotective mother deserves to get protection. She's a mom. That's true, man. Cannot She's busy protecting everyone else. Who's gonna protect her? <laughs> I will. Cause there's a hero who can save us. Not yeah. good it, George. <laughs> um If you'd like to take care of some of my dudes. And I would understand. Yeah. Your options are wide open. It's true. I was looking at I was also looking at the uh, other barbarian chieftain as well as the what? exalted knight. <laughs> okay, so like, what? Uh, I I'm not I, I think, George, that in all honesty, I think Nick is the scariest because he's got perceptive. Perceptive prevents yeah. most of us from doing anything decent, but the trained assassin has a third ability that says attack damage this deals can't be prevented, which means he eats through perceptive, which means that right. Ivan is free to keep pinging down my things with the barbarian. If you can ping down some of Nick's things with the trained yeah. assassin, I will. I will. I guess I should start with the watchtower get over here then. Yeah. Well, I have enough of those abilities. So if you'd prefer the kind counselor to go away, that's your choice. Yeah. Then kind counselor it is. All right. All right. And trained assassin right. is now hostile, but very worth it, I think. Super worth, super worth. Also, you wouldn't have been able to kill my barbarian chief. I don't think well, he would. They would have traded, right? No, no, he would because um, he has ranged and also damage oh, yeah, can be prevented. So he will deal his four unpreventable damage. Uh, it'll eat through steadfast and tenacious. Um, I have a question. I see. If, if I was to abandon statue of the beloved queen, what happens to my trained assassin? Nothing. I'll Absolutely nothing. He sticks around in his and, heart. Yeah, he sticks around and continues doing his thing. Putting it in an active zone and I'm drawing another card. Powerful. The risky. The risks. I mean... Oh, by the way, this is gone now. And that is also gone. Yeah. And I believe I have no other real turns, so I pass. All right. Let's see what I can't come up with this turn. Well, get my gold, raise my counters, and get my free draw. All things considered, that's, that's kind of a relief to see. No. Uh, not a game-winning line, but... Not game-winning, you say? Or claim? I do claim that, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to... Try not to be too greedy about this. I should play this card eventually. But I'll let you two fight amongst yourself. There's some turns left. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll start with a plan for the future. No. The top three. Right. For sure bottom that, for sure bottom that. Do we want this card, or do we want a random card? We want a random card. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take this card because I know you like it so much. So, <laughs> ooh, draw it. All right. So I'm gonna draw that card, but I'm not gonna play it. Let's play Quick Learner. Oh, more ability copying. Yeah. So I'm gonna use the Learn by Observation ability. We're going to copy the Watch Tower Scouts. This uh, this one I'm pinging over here. Yep. That has the routine and the perceptive and insight. Yep. And all that. Here, I'll I'll put the reminders on you because I have, okay, thanks. Yeah. So watch. <laughs> so I'll have the reminders. I'm going to use all the abilities so. of uh, overprotective mother and watchtower scouts routine, but not the quick learner's routine. She just came into play. 
Okay, so, so Nick, basically I put, it has the Watchtower Scout's abilities and Overprotective Mother's abilities. So I just put, you, cool. you can see how Good reminder. shortcut is that, yeah. You're scoring three cards, and that's it! All right, so then uh, I'll make some of my other denizens more tough. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to use Watchtower Scout's first ability. Not first, well, the routine ability. So this, and, this, and this. And then the Overprotective Mother's to do Watchtower Scout. Oh, man. And the plan for the feature that I played will unlock Insight. So I'll have that give Perceptive to the denizens that do not have it naturally. We're going to play Statue of the Beloved Queen. Oh, jeez. To align me uh, to purple, which I don't oh, need. Oh, jeez. Uh, I will use its arrival to give one health to Overprotective Mother. Uh, it will cost me a gold, however, because the toll collector's out. So I got yeah, the gold. Yeah, pay your taxes. Pay your tolls. Yeah. <laughs> I think I could maybe take down some health on your denizens. Maybe to squeak ahead of you, but then my dudes become hostile and they lose their own health. and That's its own can of worms. So <laughs> I think I'm comfortable maybe trying to get in a race with you here. Mm -hmm. right, you, have, you have four denizens on board. You could... Could get to uh, actually, you only need to gain points from three of them. Only two of them are scoring me points, though. All right. Well, it's a slightly risky play, but I'm gonna risk it and say that my uh, Watchtower Scouts are going to attack into your uh, your your weaker little settler over there. Okay. And then they both become hostile and lose one health. And that'll be at the end of my turn. Pass. This is extremely complicated for me. <laughs> There's I'll too bet. many options. I need to think about Nick and you, Alvin. Yeah, so right I'm now, I don't factor. have the win on board, but Nick does yeah. have the win on board, so... I'll take, I'll take, yeah, I'm going to take turn draw. That's not bad. Yeah, so Nick is up to 15 Place that... for that previous turn. Yeah. He is absolutely going to win with what's on board. I'm not at the, at the moment, so factor mm -hmm. that in. Yeah. I'll be attacking Toll Collector with my Bro Treasure. Yep, so you don't yeah. have to pay tolls in your locations anymore. Smart. Toll yeah. Free. I'll play Statue of Good King. Um, I use the ability to give my Barbarian Chieftain one health. I'll abandon my Wild Path to draw a card. Uh, you have 15 points, huh, Nick? That's what it says. <laughs> you got your work cut out for you, Ivan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start off by summoning Kazen. Oh! And paying two Ooh. alignment tax. That's right, so he costs you six for alignment tax. Kazen? Yeah. Fighter? Swift? Aggression! Uh, so you were at how much gold? Eight at that time? No, wait. That doesn't make sense. I should be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seven. You were at nine, so nine minus six. So you should be at three gold now. No, I haven't used my Iron Watch Tower yet. Right, or but you, you used the statue to buff this guy, so that unlocks. Um, synergy. Oh, okay. Allowing you to right. go up to nine, yeah, yeah. and then I you pay be six nine, for Kazen. Nine. So I'll be paying. Yeah, I'll be paying six for Kazen. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will run my Lorene into this overprotective mother mm -hmm. to okay, get rid of the first round of protection. Yep. I will then attack with my barbarian chief into your overprotective mother. Okay, so you've got two attacks. Mommy issues, I see, but we won't yeah. dig too deep into that. <laughs> yeah, I'll then proceed by using my crackdown on your Lorene, Nick. Lorene? But okay. Lorene can just come back. And he doesn't, doesn't go to the bottom it. of my deck. No, he doesn't have a location. Oh, he I see. You wanted to hand. spend four. He has, nice. three, three, he has three cards in hand. Okay. Counting his um, cards and his gold. Uh, I'm gonna attack this as Glock tonight into this cozy cottage okay. and like that as well. All right, so knock me off white alignment. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna knock you off white alignment, and hopefully pay your taxes. One of you, two, one of you two guys doesn't have the other location. One of you guys doesn't have the card. One of these guys. Uh, I still haven't. I haven't used my iron vigilance yet, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure you're using your iron vigilance all over this turn. Oh, <laughs> like, do you see how many cards you have right now, my guy? You got five uh, cards. I'm not a have, threat to you. I have some cards. I have some cards. Um, I'll be putting it on uh, Exalted Knight. Can't be attacked. 
I have three more gold to use if I wanted to. I'll play Termination Notice. Oh. Yeah, so I'll create a I'll be creating a slave using the aggression ability that I proc off of Kazen since he attacked. Um and scoring yourself and five points. Scoring as well. five points in the in the process. One, two, three, four, five. And from Lorene, I'll be scoring six points. When you end your from turn. From Barbarian yeah. Chieftain and Exalted Knight as I end my turn. All right. Your turn out. Draw a card. Uh, all right. So I'll be playing Explore the Unknown for four, uh, paying the alignment tax. This is so brutal. Uh, okay. I'll use this guy's Farming Sickle ability to go up one. All right. Um, I'm going to expedite process. Paying alignment tax once again to put a phase oh, counter on my Explore the Unknown, and then I'm going to activate it right now. Uh, I will put. All right, let's just put this into my hand. Shuffle the deck. All right, so unless George, you've got a super powerful turn, I actually think that maybe using the Crackdown on Crime on Lorene might not have been good because Lorene's only going to cost four to play, even if he doesn't get wide alignment. Well, so... Alvin, you can still make a dent in one of my denizens to prevent me from gaining points, right? True that. All right. Thank you, Nick. You're you're quite the pal. You're making sure that we're all every having fun. I, I like it. This is why yeah. I like playing with you. All right. So I'm going to have this guy. Boring. More interesting if it goes longer. Settler will attack into your Watchtower Scout. Uh, the his, the yep. first attack will deal no damage. And then the Child of the Wild is going to run into the Watchtower Scout, dealing two damage to it and taking one hey. damage in return. So now it knocks it off four health. And maybe that slows you down a little bit. Um, all right, and then both of these guys are now hostile. And noticeably, I did not attack with Lorene because uh, hopefully, I, I i mean, I don't want to turn her hostile right now because I don't want to have to replay her. So Protect. I'll just go ahead and uh, end my turn like that and score myself six points. Going up to 18, but oh, so tantalizingly close, but not not enough to win. Oh, oh. Go ahead, George, do your worst. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, I draw, I play Lorene. She shows herself at last. Oh. I summon Harmless Kitten. Another one. They've been out all game. They're so friendly. <laughs> I'm trying. I put my crowded auditorium into play. Nice. I put one search counter on it. Now we're gaming. Brace for impact. <sighs> oh. Ooh. Really Up to nice. two Denzians get us three. And I nice. choose my Harmless Kitten and my... Overprotective mother. Oh, sorry. And my oh yeah, and I've used up so routine. So uh, 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 we're gonna boost up these three, these guys. So assassin kills learner. Yep. These two kill watchtower scout. And I believe I lose one HP a piece from them. So four. Well, it's not a kill, but I I know what you meant. So yes. it'll deal two sorry, damage. Go down to damage. one one. <laughs> So, right. and I score, and since Lorene is now here, and I have four cards that are all, but four cards that are that were here before before she was, I score eight. Uh, it's wow. actually going to be twelve. Holy! Oh, it's yeah. Holy! I have big moves. For yeah, me. now we're gaming. Man. Okay, and I George is the that... combo deck all at one turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the slow burn. Yeah. All Our right. turn, Nick. So All it right. looks like either Nick or Ivan is on deck for winning now. Yeah. yeah that'll depend I gotta on say, Nick. not looking good for me. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll break Until the surprise. I'm also technically on deck. Don't let me get to this eighth turn. This this eighth <laughs> turn because my next turn is wholehearted dedication. Uh oh. <laughs> Double down. All right. Uh, that was not the card. And there's really no way to get that card out, too. So we're going to ban in the purple location mm -hmm. to draw one card. Uh, no not the right location one. location yet? <laughs> I did find a location. It's another blue. Ah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll pop it down <laughs> for fun. Uh, I think we'll play... She'll cost four with tax. Yeah. Well, okay, so we'll just replay my champion mm -hmm. for four. And then play Family Heirloom for the last three. And maybe things stick around. Maybe could be anybody's game. Uh, I did not unlock Insight, but two things are pretty perceptive already, and so that's good. I will Routine, uh, the one that I'm left with Routine, to give 
plus one, a plus zero plus one to the other two denizens. Don't you win, Nick? Right now, no. if you end. No, the Ivan actually oh. wins. Oh, oh, that's true. Unless, unless Nick uh, has a secret supportive friends or something like that, Ivan wins on his next turn. Yeah. No, I, uh, I can take out a denizen of his, maybe like the runaway slave, but. Uh, yeah. So these two oh, no. have four. It has health. to be both. It has to be both things, but. Yeah, yeah. These two have four health, so they're, uh, they're gonna score him without him having to do anything. Yeah, you can't attack Exalted Knight too, and also Barbarian oh, yeah. has tenacious and so it doesn't take any damage. Yeah. Yep. You're right. Well, let's have at it. Pass the turn. All right. Oh, the, the, the <laughs> I think we know the winner it. of the game. Ivan, oh, go ahead. And... I want. I want. I'll execute I want, it. Yeah. Do I the honors. Prolong this for you guys. Yes. Yes. Show the course. folks at home how you take this game. Uh, yeah. I just. Ending the turn just yeah! like that wins me the game with Lorraine's ability. I score three points for each of my denizens with four more health, and that's Exalted Knight and Barbarian Chieftain. Scoring me 20 points. GG. Lorraine is the winner of this game. Who knew? Wow. Yeah. There is no loser for Lorena. She's too good. <laughs> Unstoppable. And we see that on all our boards. Yeah. Man, that was crazy because I believe Ivan and I had some pretty slow, slow starts. Me and Alvin were like, Alvin got a lot of, on the board there, and then Ivan had to focus fire on him. Well, I had to focus fire and do some strategic assassinations yeah. on Nick, and he was just precisioning himself all the way to the end. And then guess what? Ivan out of nowhere, right behind Alvin, Nick. And then out, what's that? George is catching up slowly, but Ivan crosses the finish line for yeah. the win. Go, this bro. is a close race. Yeah. Thank you, thank it you. turns out aggressive Loreen is the best Loreen. Who would have thought? No, <laughs> that's true. He went, you know what? That's actually very interesting. You, Alvin, went very, to you went very economy based. Ivan went very offensive. That's Nick right. went very uh, skill based, and I went very defensive. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. True. You were going really defensive with your game plan. Uh, like you said, um, I was going with a token well, strategy, so I tried to go wide and then increase lots of health at the same time and really increase my point gain that way. Nick was doing crazy kind of things that required a lot of sequencing, copying over abilities, all sorts of yeah. combinations there. Um, but Ivan, actually, um, it's kind of a lesser known strategy, it seems, in the meta currently. But attacking locations, turns out if you make people pay two extra gold on everything they, they, they play, uh, you can Hurts. easily come out on top and, and take knew? the game. Money was the goal and cured everything. <laughs> I didn't. No, no. <laughs> All right. Well, um, Ivan, it looks like you've taken today's episode. Why don't you go ahead and say a few words to the folks at home? I'll play it. GG's. I, yeah. Speech, speech. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, it's not about whether you win or lose. It's about the Lorenes you make along the way. <laughs> well oh, all right. All right. Um, we're ending the episode on that, guys. Bye.